We're recording? Yes. All right, hey guys, we're doing something a little different today, and I'm gonna take you to Lowe's with me to the box store, you know, the big blue box store Lowe's, and see if it's possible for us to find plants there that you might be able to start your nursery with. I know that might sound kind of crazy, and I've given you other sources to get plants from, but what if you just wanna start dabbling a little bit, just start getting your fingers wet, your toes wet, I think it's toes wet, not your fingers wet, whatever it is, I want to see if there's any plants at Lowe's, and I have not been in here, and it's been incredibly hot, so their plants may look awful, but we're going to go in Lowe's today and go down here and have a look and see if there's any plants in here that I might could recommend to you that you might could use to start your nursery. I have plants in my own yard that I take cuttings from every year, and some of them that I've even sold to you guys that I got from Lowe's, like my dappled willows, my blue rug junipers, my limelight hydrangeas, my burning bushes, those all came from Lowe's and, and other plants that I've used from time to time. So I'm gonna go in here and see if we can find anything and maybe this will be helpful to you today. Before we step into this store, a word from today's sponsor, the Orchid Supply Store. The Orchid Supply Store is your one-stop shop for all things orchids. Orchids are popular plants that can thrive indoors as well as outdoors, as long as care is taken to assure they're protected from cooler temperatures. The Orchid Supply Store carries a large variety of orchids, pots, and potting media for the plants as they have unique needs, requiring unique pots that can't be found just anywhere. Orchids thrive in pots and in specially made hanging baskets, as they can also grow with exposed roots only requiring air and water to grow. Their potting media should be light and loose, and the Orchid Supply Store offers a variety of bark products to perfectly fit your taste and your orchid's specific needs. Also at orchidsupplystore.com, there are many how-to articles and videos to help you along the way as you delve into the world of these amazing plants. So for more about the Orchid Supply Store, check out the link in the description below. And remember, as always, prices include shipping, so no additional charges at checkout. So if you're an orchid lover, or know someone who is, or want to experiment with an amazing new plant, give the Orchid Supply Store a look. We think you'll be glad you did. All right, guys, we've walked in Lowe's here. Let me tell you just an idea of what I'm looking for. You guys know a lot of the kind of plants that I grow and sell. Hydrangeas, perennials evergreens, edibles. So I want to look around and see what they have in here that we can propagate. So we need plants that are not under patent. That's a big deal. And we want to pay attention to copyright names or trademark. So this hosta is, would be a really good choice. Now, it's $10.98, and I'm not really thrilled about that. It's a little bit expensive, but this has got at least five divisions inside here that we could get right now. So let's say there, that there's only five. Well, if you went home and divided those, you got $5.20, I'm sorry, $2.20 in each plant, and that's not too bad just for starting out some stuff in your in your own yard just kind of playing around this would be a really good plant to think about getting all right guys i got quite a few hostas right here all the hostas that i can see right here none of these have patents on them so we can divide them at will so what you want to do is come in and look for the ones that have a lot of stems the more stems they have the better because if you got five stems you can maybe make five plants out of them so hostas are a great item to get from lowe's to divide to start a nursery all right guys this is a proven winner's hosta it's called Woo la la, what an interesting name. Beautiful plant, by the way, but I will also show you that I was looking over this label and you'll never see this on the camera, but in the finest of tiniest print right here on the bottom, it tells you the patent number of this plant. I can't even see it, it's 31,000 and something, the number, the patent number. What that tells you is this, this is a beautiful plant. You'd love to have it in your yard to look at, but it's no good for your nursery. All right, guys, another plant that I'm seeing in here. Now, these are in a proven winner's pot. Don't let that scare you away automatically. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But this is a really, really popular, great plant that's been around for quite a few years now. And it's a Wajila, and it's typically known as wine and roses, as you see there. Now, let me show you a few things about this that's worth pointing out. Number one, you see that it has a patent number, PP pound or PP number 10772. Now, one thing that 
I just happen to know about this particular Wajila is that this particular patent has expired, so it's no under no longer under patent protection, and we can't sell this plant though as a wine and roses because that is a copyrighted name. You always look for the little trademark or copyright, whatever that's called right there. You know the little circle and the R. We can't sell it as wine and roses, but we can sell it as Alexandra right here at my thumb, as you can see. So if I were buying this plant, I would plant it in my yard in a permanent place and it's going to make me beautiful cuttings every year and I'm going to sell it as Wajila Alexandra. And we're going to leave the name Wine and Roses out because it's copyrighted. We can't use that name ever, but the patent has expired. So a plant like Wajila Alexandra would be a good candidate to put in your yard. All right, moved over to another place. Here I see Palace Purple Coral Bells. This is one of the most common coral bells there are. It's a very basic plant. It's not one of the spectacular colors. However, if you look down in this pot, you can see again that there are multiple stems here and the Palace Purple Coral Bells is one that's free to be propagated. So you can buy one of these or five of these or whatever the case may be, and you can make a whole bunch of them. So the Coral Bells, unpatented Coral Bells, like the Palace Purple is potentially a great plant to get from Lowe's. And a lot of times you'll find these on your clearance racks. The clearance rack in Lowe's can be a treasure trove of cheap plants so first thing you want to do when you come in lows looking for plants is go check out the clearance rack just because something on that rack looks bad doesn't mean that it can't be revived so always have a look there first i've got a lot of palace purple coral bells for one or two dollars a plant by going to the clearance rack all right i just came over to the clearance rack speaking of clearance rack they've got some blue rug junipers up here this is an awesome blue ground cover super easy to propagate very similar to how you would propagate an arborvita under mist it's priced at $22.98 on clearance it's 50 percent off so you're going to get this for about eleven dollars and fifty cents plant it in your ground buy three or four of them plant them in your ground and next year you literally have hundreds of cuttings off of this thing so this is a potential plant to do really well with in a backyard nursery no patent public domain super easy to propagate very common good plant and this is big blue larope commonly known as monkey grass there's a lot of these grasses that you can get at lowe's that there's a variegated one there's a smaller one called mondo grass but you can look in here you can see there's many many clumps of this this could be divided many times this is a great plant for your nursery you can always get these at lowe's they're really cheap to go a long way now this obviously is a, an emerald green arborvita like look at it it's not pretty at all the price tag Okay, the price tag on this thing says $44, but this is not a $44 plant in this condition. I would find the garden store manager if I were you, and I would ask them if they would sell this to you for $10. And if they would, take this home with you, plant it, and next spring, get yourself about 300 cuttings off of this, and you'll be in good shape. Arborvitas are a great plant to buy from Lowe's. I bought a ton of them from Lowe's on clearance and otherwise and made hundreds and hundreds or maybe even at this point several thousands of cuttings from green giants and from emerald greens. A great plant to get at Lowe's for your nursery. And then you got crepe myrtles. This is a, what is this? I forgot already. I just looked at it. This is a Sioux, S-I-O-U-X, like the Indian tribe Sioux crepe myrtle and I know that's a public domain crepe myrtle so yet another plant that you can propagate easily. It's got tons and tons of cuttings on it. Take it home plant it in your yard, have yourself a gorgeous crepe myrtle forever, and then endless cuttings for all the years that you want them after that. All right, guys, so we are pulling out of the parking lot here, and after going in there and looking around, you know, a lot of times when you're starting out a nursery, you're just kind of dabbling around, trying to really figure out, do I want to do this, or is this really going to work? Well, if that's where you are with your nursery, then you certainly can find some plants to do that with at your local Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Menards, whatever your big box store nurseries are. And of course the plants available are gonna vary a lot with the season, uh, with your climate and all of that. So this is just what they happen to have in ours during the dog days of summer when the heat is horrific and you know they're, they're not moving a lot of plants in and out of there right now. It's just way, way, way too hot for that and inactive. But you can find plants to get your nursery started with in a Lowe's store, Home Depot, wherever, with no problem. So guys, that's it for today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. If this is helpful to you, hit the like button. That helps me out a lot for you to hit like and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that. But otherwise, I love y'all and I will look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good day.